But I'm at the point where I want her to be my girlfriend. I'm at the point where I want her to know where we stand and, you know what I'm saying, just lock that shit down and move one step closer to marriage and kids because that's what I really want. And Icebox hit me back and said they got it right now and they can, they can overnight ship it to Miami to me. You hit me. So I had to get her the diamond Rolex, you know what I'm saying? They just got the diamond bezel on it and it's pink. I ain't never really felt like how I feel about you, so that's scary. So now, open the box. I love you. Right, you too. No, the fuck you did it. It's so fucking cute. It's pink. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Motherfucker hard though, right? With the pink? You yeah. gotta slow down, you wanna come on. I got my money right staring on up. Love it down, no put on the stuff. Crew through the town, double our truck. I'm in the best, you don't roll in the stuff. I made one comment, the show pull up. I remember the time I went down on my look. Down on my look, down on my leg. Got out my hand when it got in my. What up, Moolah Gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm back with another video here on the Vlinaro channel, man. Now, listen, man, on my vlog channel, I share a lot of stuff with y'all, but I never really gave y'all an insight into my real, real real life like a hundred percent and I damn sure never did it with my relationship like I've never had no relationship I've been doing YouTube a long time I never had no relationship with no girl I was actually with I was actually loving I was actually I never had our business on the internet and I still don't want to do that like I still don't want nobody in my real life personal life business like it will never be like that but I'm at the point now where it's certain shit that's gonna hit the internet it's certain shit that Instagram is gonna know even if I don't tell YouTube's like type shit. So it's like, it's to the point where it's like kind of like no hiding it type shit, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, basically what I'm trying to say is I had this girl that I have been rocking with and I have been loving on and in love with for a little minute now, right? And ever since we met, like everything been good, everything been great. It's like the first time I really start talking to somebody and like everything was just going good. Like we was on the same page about pretty much a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? We both understood what we wanted from each other. Honest, open, you know what I'm saying? Decent communication, better than I, any other experience I had type shit. And I'm one of them people where I know, when I know something, I know it, and I don't gotta think twice or think super, super long about it. I just go with my mood. So I say all that to say, I'm to the point now, we've been talking for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I say I love her, she says she love me. She been at my crib for, I don't know, like for weeks at a time, month at a time type shit. Traveling back and forth to see each other a whole lot, you feel me? Like damn near, well pretty, yeah, not even damn near, every weekend type shit. Um, and it got to the point where I ain't, I ain't really wanna be, I ain't really wanna live without her. Like I ain't wanna wake up every day and she not be right there type shit. And when it get like that, for me, when I start feeling like that, whether it's three months in, whether it's six months in, whether it's a year in, when I start feeling like that, I feel like it's time to make that first step to, to lock that shit down, for real. Let, let her know that I'm not bullshitting. So my end goal is marriage, right? My end goal is marriage because I'm I'm getting older, gang. I'm 25. I'm getting money. The more I get older, the more I do shit, the more I realize don't nothing else matter than your family. Taking care of your people, getting rich, traveling, doing fun shit, just enjoying life, you feel me? So I'm on some shit like I'm trying to get married, I'm trying to have my kids, I'm trying to be a dad, I'm trying to be a husband, I'm trying to get these millions. And I don't know about y'all, but you can't get millions. You can, maybe some people, but I can't get millions trying to find love and trying to talk to hoes and talking to 16 different girls. I don't got time for that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I always wanted to find a girl that... You know, our morals lined up, we was locked in. She was on the same type of time I was on, you know what I'm saying? She was serious about a relationship, I was serious. Shit just met in the middle and we the sparks just flew and we got together and stayed together forever type shit. I've been wanting that for the longest on Bro Grace. Even when I was talking to three, four different girls at one time, that's what I always wanted. I could just never find it. Now that I find it, I can't let you go nowhere. I can't let you go. Can't let you go nowhere. So it's to the point where I'm gonna ask her to be my girlfriend. Now I ain't I ain't showed y'all her on YouTube. I haven't put none of our business, none of the shit that we we haven't really went through shit. Like you know everything that we kind of go through, it be going through smooth because I feel like we both love each other and we just we not neither one of us is toxic. You see what I'm saying? But anything that we have went through, any personal shit that we went through, I just kept all that shit off the internet. So y'all don't even know her name. Y'all don't know what she looked like. Like nobody knows shit other than like. Her people's and my people's type shit. But I'm at the point where I want her to be my girlfriend. I'm at the point where I want her to know where we stand and you know what I'm saying, just lock that shit down and move one step closer to marriage and kids. Cause that's what I really want 
you know what I'm saying, in the next year or year and a half type shit. And I know y'all see that title. When I thought about it, I said I want to make her my girlfriend. I want to do it big. I want to do some extravagant shit. Not like no huge, crazy shit. But I want to do something just so she can remember the moment, you know what I'm saying? Do something for her. Do something for us. That was like cool, nice. We both enjoyed ourselves. Ask her to be my girlfriend at the end of the night. I got a whole lot of some shit planned, right? A few things got in the way of that that we ain't gonna talk about on the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? A few things got in the way of that. So, I thought, I'm gonna do the first part. I'm gonna ask her to be my girlfriend and I'm gonna give her what I'm going to give her as a girlfriend gift type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do that shit at the crib, just me and her one on one, and then we'll do all the extra shit that I got planned after the little problem that came in between it, after that shit is over with. What I wanted to do was I wanted to buy her a watch. If y'all don't know, I love watches. I really not really into jewelry like that, like all type of other crazy shit, but I love watches because it's something that you can keep your money into. It always holds its value. It look raw, it look classy, it start conversations. I just like watches. I like, you know what I'm saying, what's on your wrist. Don't know why, I just got into watches. So, I wanted to get her a watch. Now, I've been slick as hell the last week and a half. I've been like, do you like, would you like a Rolex or an AP? You feel me? Uh, which, if you could pick one, you know, I'm just being slick with it type shit, like asking her which watch she like better, woody woody woo. I know her favorite color, pink. You know what I'm saying? She not like super flashy, like she wears jewelry, but it's not like no, I don't think she like no bust down shit, no whole bunch of diamonds. She kind of like me, like, she you know, she just like some regular plain little classy shit, right? So, I finally found the watch that I wanted to get her. It was a Rolex, right? Now when I found it online, I'm like, damn, I need this shit like now. Cause it took me a minute to find, to figure out, you know what I'm saying, what I wanted to do. But by the time I found the watch, I had already had everything else planned. So I'm like, I need this watch now, like today. So I texted all the jewelers that I shopped with in the past, you know what I'm saying, few, like year and a half, two years, you know what I'm saying. And Icebox hit me back and said, they got it right now. And they can, they can overnight ship it to Miami to me. So that's exactly what I did, you feel me? So I dropped the bread, I talked to Janae, you know what I'm saying? Janae, Janae is a cool ass nigga on Bro Grade. If any of y'all shop with Icebox, y'all know who I'm talking about, but uh, she the one who gave me my Icebox tour, if y'all go to my, my channel and see it. Gangsty, so I just got the package from Icebox. They overnighted it to me in my, from Atlanta to Miami, so y'all see it's windy as hell outside on Bro Grade. But yeah, they just, they just uh, overnighted it to me from uh, Atlanta to Miami, so I just got it. I'm gonna go back upstairs. Well, I'm gonna film this video, film the rest of the intro. I'm gonna go back upstairs and act like it ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? Kinda act like, you know, it ain't too much, nothing too crazy, nothing like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna act like, you know, everything normal and shit. And then later today, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her and ask her to be my girlfriend. So, we gonna see how this shit goes, ski! Now I get everybody on this video, $10. Cause I know, how she, I know what she gonna do, I already know. She gonna hit that. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. And then she's not gonna cry. She always do that. She always be like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry when I do something like nice for her. And then she don't cry. Cause she's a punk ass. No. <laughs> so if she don't do that shit, I get everybody that's watching ten dollars. Cause I already know she gonna do it. Oh bro. She overnighted it to me yesterday. I literally just got it in the mail. And uh it's right here. Ski! I got my shit covered up, my address and shit's covered up, so don't don't play no, don't you can't play no tricks on me, folks. You can't make no tricks on me. And it just got here, y'all. Like, literally, like, it's like 10.30 in the morning, some shit like that. I ain't got my phone on me. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I had to come downstairs from the crib so I make this video away from her so I wouldn't ruin a surprise. You feel me? You got the icebox box right here. You know what I'm saying? You open it up like that. Icebox, diamonds, and watches. And inside is the Rolex box. Brand new, you know what I'm saying? Newer model, you know what I'm saying? Got the Rolly box. You take this shit off. Rolex, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I, you know, if she gonna be my girl. She can't, you know, she gotta get, she gotta get established, folk. You feel me? I can't always say I'm any girl I love. She mine for real. I ain't walking around with no jewels on that she ain't got. I ain't walking. I ain't driving around no car and letting her drive around in no Toyota if she my girl. We, you know what I'm saying? Married and shit like that. Hell no, I ain't going. I ain't going like that. You a representation of me, baby. You hit me. so I had to get her the diamond Rolex. You know what I'm saying? They just got the diamond bezel on it. And it's pink. Can y'all see that? It's pink. They got the diamond. It's really the same watch I got, just smaller, like for girls. And they got the pink, uh, the pink dial inside with the diamond bezel. Stop playing with me. Y'all better stop fucking playing with me. I had to come like that for my girl though, bro. Cause I feel my girl hold it down, like for real, for real. My girl hold it down, and it's the first time I felt like real loyalty, like real love for real. So I ain't playing with it type shit. But I had to go ahead and get it. Like I said, this the pretty much the same watch that I have. Uh, like the first watch that I bought, so it's kind of like significant. Like 
her first watch is the same watch that I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just raw type shit. You feel me? So, um, I'm gonna actually go upstairs and get this shit to her later today. Uh, she has no idea. I ain't give her no hints. Um, she seen me get a box and she knew I had something, but she didn't know. Like, basically, I said I need to get something in the mail before we can do what we gotta do type shit. So, make sure your nails done and all that shit. Like, you feel me? So, she know it's something, but I don't think she put two and two together like this for me or it's a gift or... You know what I'm saying? She might think it's a ring, maybe. But like, I don't know if she put two and two together type shit, so. So I'm gonna record her reaction. If she cool with posting it, then we'll post it. If she don't want it posted, if she wanted to just stay between us, it'll stay between us. It's pretty much her choice. Uh, but yeah, bae, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Uh, and I ain't gotta say too much on this internet shit because you know how I'm coming in real life. Um, but yeah, I love you. And I just wanted to do something to put a smile on your face and uh, you just, just to show my appreciation. Put up with my shit. You put up with me. You support me. You love me. And that's all a nigga can really ask for, for real. So, so yeah, I'm finna be a boyfriend by the end of today, Ski. Hopefully. If she say yeah. She gonna say yeah. Who I'm who I'm kidding, bro? Who I'm kidding? Shit. Hope she say yeah, shit. <laughs> it's been a long road. Well, it seems like longer than it has been. And what I will bestow upon you inside of this box is very, very important. I ain't never really felt like how I feel about you, so that's scary. Now, save the alls. Please save the alls for the end, okay? Okay. This shit we still gotta work on. We gotta talk about right now. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Because I'd rather work on that with you than to start with somebody else. Now, I wanna give you this box before I continue to say what I'm about to say. It took a while to find it, mm -hmm. the one that I wanted. I can almost guarantee that you did not get any of the hints because like for the last week, five, five days to like a week, if you paid attention for real, you would know exactly what's in this box. Okay. But you, I'm sure you didn't put two and two together. My intentions, is to be with you forever, and I can promise you 100% loyalty. I can promise you that I, I'll risk my life anytime, anything you ever need, I'll be there to give it for you. So now, open the box. I love you. Right, too. Now open the box. Okay. You got it, it's too. Yeah. No, the fuck you did it. Oh my god! Take it out. Take it out. Oh, sorry. Dang. I'm like, what happened? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't even open it. I'm shaking. You're shaking? Yeah. You're not shaking. Yes, you are. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Oh my god. If you're gonna drop the tears, the water works. Just go ahead and drop it now. <laughs> Don't wait till I walk off and shit, try to be all gangster. You're gonna wait. You're gonna wait? Yeah. Do you know if it's gonna fit? It should. Yup. You ate with that one. Yup. Now. tomorrow but you know things happen it's really the weather that blew it yeah that's all 
No. Yeah, that's all. Is it? Yeah, it's like sham. You can't really see because of the light. But you gotta set the date too. Let me see. What's the date? 12? No, 13. Don't really call who you gonna call and shit. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You guys, I'm a girlfriend. So the day didn't go as planned, but he still asked me today and he got me this. Oh. Right. You heard my mama? She talking about he's going to like that proposal. What's that going to be like? I already got a plan. He already got a plan. Just wait on it. <laughs> But the APs are bigger than that. And I don't think you want no big ass, big early ass watch. I wouldn't buy you no big early ass watch. Why? Because this shit looks stupid. This look cool, cute. Yeah. And then what you call it? I'm like, what are you saying? Classy. I don't know why I can't change the date. Classy. Classy. My band's just different. My Jubilee. President Jerome was buzzed down in Jubilee. Yeah, you got icebox down and down, girl. Okay, guys, everything go perfectly good. So now Michael's in a relationship. I, you know, it's just, it's just it's just what's going on, and I'm probably gonna be letting this shit. If this shit go my way, I'm gonna be in the motherfucker forever. But I don't know if I showed y'all, but I got my Christmas tree up. We just ain't got the ornaments, cause we got the ornaments and shit, right? But we ain't got the little hooks. I thought the shit came with hooks. I guess it's a well-known fact that they don't. So we just got this raw ass tree just sitting here with no ornaments, and it's been a few days, and we ain't went and got the shit yet. But yeah. You look raw as hell though, I got the little snow shit. I always wanted one with like the little fake snow on there and shit. So yeah, I fuck with this. Ski! And we got the big gangster Xena terrorizing everybody. What's up, mama? What's up, girl? What's up? Say, what's up? What up, Moolah gang? Use a punk ass. Ski! <laughs> now let me come in here and show y'all this shit up close just in case y'all can't see because the camera was out of focus like a motherfucker. Okay, peep gang, peep gang, peep gang, peep gang. Motherfucker hard though, right? With the pink? Yeah. Y'all can see it way better on the iPhone. I don't know why, but that shit is definitely hard. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, I'm finna get this vlog edited and post it for y'all and uh yes yeah, cheers to 2024 man we finna go in 2024 i told y'all i'm trying to make 10 million i want i want 10 m's next year man i don't got it ain't gotta be all profit though it don't gotta be all profit but i want 10 m's though like you hear me i want to mm -hmm. touch i want my businesses to touch 10 m's in 2024 so i'm manifesting that shit and um planning everything putting everything together for that shit so i'm locked in i'm focused um and I'm on the right path, man. We almost there. We real close, sir. Next year, life's gonna change, gang. Next year is when I won't start, like, house for mama, house for pops. Like, you know, two, three cars for pops, mama now. You feel me working on first kid type shit. That's my goal, man. Just, you know, change, elevate life, change everybody's life around me. Get more employees, help more people. You feel me? Uh, just do more giveaways type shit, more programs for kids, just shit like that. Like, that's really what I'm on for next year. So, to get, do all that shit, I need that, I need that money. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, make sure y'all tuned in. Um, you know, shit gonna turn up, shit gonna keep turning up. My, uh, rest of my channel is going crazy right now. Make sure y'all subscribe to my 2K channel too, because I'm going dumb over there. I'm dropping head day over there. Uh, and yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow on my vloggy vlog. Skate!